Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Olympus Sky. And uh, this time we're checking out Curiosity. And uh, yeah, it was really nice to work on it, even though um, you know I discovered it uh, when I was uh, having a coffee break, so to say, or tea, should I say? Because I almost stopped drinking coffee, but uh, yeah, actually, life is actually a lot better without coffee. <laughs> That's just a personal opinion. I mean, uh, it's it's kind of a habit, and once you stop doing that, you kind of don't need it anymore, I guess. So uh, let's check out Curiosity. I mean, uh, you all know by now, I hope so. Well, I'm not so fond of Curiosity anymore, but it doesn't mean that I'm checking out the, uh, I'm not checking out the uh, images every day. Uh, since, since I'm still relatively excited, but uh, I've seen a lot and I've seen too much. So uh, let's jump into this image. I will provide the official link as always in the description. Um, one of those things I'm talking about is is you know, when you look at the tracks here, if you didn't know, uh, the soil on Mars contains, um, uh, it's it's not as dry as you think, it does contain some water, you could say 1.5%, 1%, it doesn't really matter. Um, Alright, so we're seeing these tracks here, you know, it becomes a bit dark, it looks a lot like mud, but the way am I to tell you what is what, and here so you know it drives over this really uh, supposedly dry um, Sand here, this is really really straight, but um, as you can see, still kind of the dark tracks here. But anyways, that's that's all not a thing. I'm uh, still making a uh, work in progress video. We'll talk about really um, some hard stuff, uh, some more technical stuff basically. And I will demonstrate everything step by step. So, um, we got the background there, as, um, as you might or might not know, because I have a lot of new people here. Um, if it's, if you're new and just just look out look on the uh, recommended for newcomers thing um, Don't expect the same quality as these days. I mean, I'm still a growing channel. I'm still pretty fresh um, I might be um, I might be a professor somewhere or your minister where whoever you think I am You don't know I'm, I might be doctor uh, this that um, it still requires skill to um, to present it, especially uh, since I speak multiple languages, not just one and two. So um, let's jump into this and let's check out what's going on. And as always, um, I, I don't know what is going on there, but I can at least say that it does look like um, someone has lived there and that is my basically... Um, my main thought here I don't know if I ever talked about this but uh, I haven't ever seen anything that even remotely tells us that something might be there right now but um, you know I, I, I'm really interested in history and old stuff and uh, this channel is filled with uh, with aliens and UFOs uh, once I get the telescope and I'll catch something interesting on film I'll definitely share it with you um, that's that's not the problem and I really like to, to, to do this I really enjoy this uh, some people call, call this digital archaeology whatever you like to call it it's, it's fine with me um, uh, I'm, pr I'm pretty happy in what I do at the moment and I do it for you and you guys really inspire me and I hope that I've inspired you as well to take a look and try it for yourself so let's jump into this we'll check out the left region first which actually contains some interesting formations um, well, triangles basically, and let's start it. Start it out. Now we'll go with this layer. See, kind of this original look where we came from. Um, if you have any doubt, any doubt, I mean, uh, you, all you do look this original layer. I'm just going to activate some brightness and contrast here, and uh, particularly in this area. Uh, let's show you. You can see it's it's all in there. I'm not doing uh, anything crazy. Well, later on I am, but uh, it it is definitely in there. Um, so let's check it out. Um, let's start drawing it out as usual. I mean, um, hell, let's start with the first triangle. This is number one. Looks a bit um, severed here, but that's fine. It's it's still the angles are there, and that's fine. Here we have another triangle thing that looks like it. Here we have another small triangle. It's not actually really perfect. One of the first ones I have noticed. Um, let's check out another interesting thing. Um, we got a rectangular thing sticking out here, which was also interested. Also, I, I didn't want to talk about this one, but it, it, it's a bit too destroyed and everything. But it, it almost looks like there's a stack of three pipes here, maybe? Who knows? But it's, it's too vague to even say anything about it, actually. Um, you could like throw your death stare at it and it will become anything that uh, you want it to become. 
Uh, this looks also a bit like a triangle, but I actually, because I got really confused but what this rectangular shape here really made it for me because it does seem like this is one hole. And uh, before that I actually thought, because there is a line here, uh, here it's severed and then now we have a broken triangle. Maybe it was part, maybe this was like, you know, another room or something, I have no idea. But um, in terms of foundations, we'll just go to the right, which is a lot more interesting. Uh, let me see if I got all correct layers here, because I think I had another layer. Yeah, it's actually this one, and I copied the wrong one. Uh, this one's a lot easier for your eyes, I mean, uh, look at it. <clears throat> let's see. And let's zoom in for you. I mean, now uh, you can see, see this one, so at least you can say, look, it's not me doing this. You can see the triangle here, you can see the triangle formation here, you can still see the triangular formation here, which is, um, see, it's in there. And by the way, I haven't noticed this, uh, this is pretty neat. Hold on. Alright, let's try this, I haven't seen this before as well. But it almost looks like some kind of plate there, you see it's a bit curved there goes to the right and then you it's 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 crazy see and then we even got some shadows here I haven't inverted the image right no I have done that and um, so this is a really interesting thing as well I would note that pretty nice I'm not finding stuff anymore on the fly as regularly as I used to do on YouTube which, which I think is a shame it uh, has to be a bit fun for me as well so Let's go. Of course, it's always fun, but you know, it's even more exciting when you just, just find something that you haven't seen before. Um, now we'll get into something crazy. Now let me zoom a bit out here and just give you a pre pre quick preview on this layer. And what I need to do, hold on, because I'm a bit lost now. Right, that's good. I'll move these two up. I'll place them right here. And now we're all ready and set up here. So I don't think I even need to select this one. And let's 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 grab a look here because this is pretty crazy. As you can see, there's some crazy stuff here. Once I draw it out for you, you'll be able to clearly make out something that shouldn't be there, and that's the whole point. Now let's let's take a look here. First thing I noticed is I looked at this, and this is I don't know. It looked like a bit like a cave or something. But I noticed and couldn't stop noticing it is that there's definitely a clear line here. It, it's it's in there. I can guarantee you that. And I found that so weird. And the more I looked at it, the more it changed. There's also some kind of a bit of reflection on those two sides. And let's let's grab a look. First, I thought, you know what? It's probably not a cave. Let's draw it out. It even looks like a pyramid. But you can clearly see that there is a kind of an arch shape underneath it well it could still be due to the rubbish quality like an actual pyramid sticking out so all right let's remove the lines and let's check out what's going on so i noticed there was a bit of a backside and i was you know just just doing this and it now looks a bit more you know like a, a bit like a house formation or something i have no idea I literally have no idea, but I can tell you that it, it does look indeed strange. Um, even even stranger, it's a bit harder to see. Let me. I might actually go with this over this. We'll just go with the natural one. All right, let's just go with this one. Well, I noticed here is one arch. Right? Second arch. All right? So that's cool. A little bit of symmetry going on there. You see a bit of lighting here, a bit of light reflecting here, a bit of light reflecting here and here. A um, little bit here, a little bit here. It almost looks like three dots or three, I don't know, components. Uh, then we will look at the backside of the pyramid thing, whatever you like to call it. When we look at this, it will actually goes underneath these arches. And then it makes this artificial... Um, line shape uh, road whatever you like to call it uh, you got even some shadow here like it's like it has been elevated uh, and that's that's pretty crazy i mean there's more and more crazy stuff than you can imagine in this 
Um, let's grab the bit darker layer here, a um, bit of brightness and contrast there. Uh, I mean, it's a lot more interesting stuff. I'll go to the really exciting part to the right just in a moment. I mean, let me just draw this out and something doesn't add up here. I wish we had more detail, but this is the way it is and um, I can't help it. Um, it's, it's basically what we paid for. I think we deserve a lot better because, you know, the client uh, is, is king. It should be. But uh, we the people are their clients. So uh, let me remove this one. And in a moment we go to another layer. Where is, well, I'll just go over it again. And you can see that it's, it's, it's a bit destroyed. Yeah, I agree. But um, it looks very, very artificial. Let me draw it out. And, you know, I've, at first I thought, you know what, maybe these, these couple of pixels here. I mean, I can't tell myself that this is random. Um, you can see this line, it's, it's a bit thicker. Uh, let me remove it. See, a bit thicker definitely in there. And by pure chance, there's another one here in the right place where it should be. Um, that's the whole thing. I can even see, hold on, let me grab the, make a bit smaller and make this a bit long video. Why not? Got a ton of interesting people here. I'm not sure, not sure. I'm really not sure. I think there's actually stuff going underneath it. However, um, when you look at this in its entirety, um, there's something going here. Just a little bit of pixels over here. No idea what this thing is. Then it's kind of weird. Um, it 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 looks really weird, honestly. You got you got to at least tell yourself that because. Um, if you don't believe this video or, or, you know, have doubts about this, go and study up yourself, go check out, um, go perform some tests if you will. Um, it took me at least a year before I started this channel to make absolutely sure that I wasn't crazy. And, and, and you know, to know how to present it to people, basically. Um, let's, let's check out something more. Now, this is a bit harder to see. I'll make another layer here. I remove this and let's let's grab a look here because th this is pretty weird and hard to see but when you look at this uh, what we've drawn out here that uh, crazy little thing it actually there is some kind of arch going like this there is a bit of arching going on here there is a little small straight thing here it's something going to back it almost seems I'm not saying um, the left definitely doesn't seem to go in, but however, it still remains very interesting. Um, now, if you consider this, uh, consider this line here, and I'll just draw straight through everything. And now what we are actually seeing here in the pixels is pretty interesting, is this isn't really pixelation. When you look at this, see kind of an arch, kind of a broken arch here, um, almost like a circle something in the middle then we got the bigger arch it's kind of like the entrance here it almost looks like an entrance not sure uh, like I said I don't know because we need higher quality pictures which they won't give us now just by looking at this how this is formed all next to each other along that line along this construction here underneath isn't that suspicious so um and it's kind of stupid to to receive so many images from uh, from nasa and uh, whenever there's something interesting they won't check it out there's also something more interesting i didn't want to point this out necessarily but um no it's about patterns and it's i haven't seen that either i think i have seen uh, this thing in the sky i'm monitoring at the moment uh, i'm just going for him and just checking out what is going on Little small triangle here, but I wouldn't trust it. Definitely not. I wish I could check out what's going on with this place, but uh, I'm guessing that's the uh, separation between curiosity and the storm, which in 10,000 images, you always see the storm in the background, really. And curiosity is always lucky because it never has a sandstorm around it. Um, it operates actually um, pretty continuous. I'm actually amazed. Now let's uh, let's look at another last interesting feature here. Um, let's zoom a bit out, and you can see this. Why why can't I draw an arch? All right, now we got sort of an arch. There's another arch here. Now my point is, now hold on. My point here is that this is simply not a not a meteor crater. 
you can see that there's only half of it and two sides are very symmetrical to each other with a line going out whoever knows where it's going but uh, when you start looking at this it it could be something artificial uh, your eyes pick pick it up and uh, then you got to do like to test test for yourself um, know what you're doing here and uh, just draw it out for yourself and like I said um, I, I didn't say that yet uh, but um, you should try um, whenever I make like a video like this I try at least in five different approaches to reconfirm if the anomaly is actually in there um, to exclude myself as as um, as an issue um, just just to make sure that I'm not creating anything or connecting stuff that isn't necessary if something is or is not connected but it is connected or then I'll just tell you no that's that's not uh, that's not a problem but you got to take a look at this like really critically and I don't think a lot of people do that I think it's really important to check this out and those shapes are stacking up and it's in every state if I'm going to tell you I'm going to tell you right now <coughs> But my rough estimate, I'd almost say that 96% of these images contain artificial shapes. That's too much. Now let's say that there are 10,000 images, meaning how much you have 9,600 images here that contain artificial shapes in it. And and then I'm not even talking about images like these where you, we found on the left side like almost five triangular shapes. <laughs> that's that's too much. You know you gotta open your eyes. It's it's time to wake up. I don't have to see a grey alien walking around here or see a living crab here just to just to say that NASA is fooling us or should do at least a better job. And um, same goes for ESA, you know. It's, it's, um, I'm so disappointed in the Rosetta mission. I made that video uh, I was showing you how um, the, uh, the manipulation marks uh, first really clear evidence uh, evidence I've seen that I've been manipulating even demonstrated to you what tool I used go check that video out um, this video don't know why I have that many views in such a short time but I, I'm glad you enjoyed it thank you very much for viewing and uh, always leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet uh, we're growing there will be a telescope um, I hope soon I really want to have it like by Christmas but that's just dream and um, you know, I'll, I'm, I'm going to have the conversation soon. So thank you very much for helping me out, sending those emails and those nice comments. You can still put a nice comment and help me out here in um, in getting that telescope. Because instead of asking money to um, um, asking money from you, I'm just going to do it the other way, and and I'm just going to do it myself and try and fix it. So at the moment it's uh, all going well. I got the uh, protest video was in the making. Other videos are in the making, and um, I'm still writing a book and everything about this, so we can go into um, technical details and such. Because um, YouTube just doesn't cut it, unfortunately. <clears throat> so I hope um, you'll continue to support me, and um, that we can achieve something together that has been built by by us together. You know. And that's really what I want to say. <clears throat> it's time for changes. And if you won't team up, there will be no change. So leave that thumbs up. Let me know if you're in the team or out of the team. Uh, if you support. Um, that's, that's why I basically always ask you to leave that thumbs up. Um, to show the, out the outer world for maybe new people that will watch this video. And see, hey, there's a lot of people actually uh, seeing this. So let me just take that extra minute just, just to... You know, just my eyes, just, just listen to him and I'll check it out. And um, that's just how it works. And I hope it will work out. But um, again, thank you very much for listening. Hope you enjoyed the video. All images enhanced rights will be in the description, official link. If you um, if you are checking my enhanced album out on Google+, Plus, be sure to follow me on Google+. Plus. Sometimes I post an interesting video there. And, um, you know, I'm, uh, I'm basically available right there and uh, posting these images and uh, keep you up to date basically and uh, thank you very much have a nice day morning or midday and uh, i wish you the best as always wherever you're from like i said morning midday uh, afternoon whatever morning it's all fine i wish you uh, always the best and uh, again enjoy uh, the rest of your day